How's it going guys? It's the final render here and welcome to Overwatch. It is the one year anniversary of Overwatch and I actually took the plunge and picked it up when it was very heavily discounted and my gosh guys, I absolutely love this game. I have played it before. I played the open beta or beta, whichever one you want to say which actually upsets you the least and I thoroughly enjoyed that but I didn't actually take the plunge into it. I was playing a lot of Counter-Strike at the time and I thought I'm going to get really involved in this game and I'm going to start hating it after a while because I'm going to get so worked up on the winning aspects of the competition so to speak. But now I've bought it, I am very happy I have bought it. This video is just kind of be some of my thoughts and say why I love this game and why I think you should probably pick it up if you've got the chance. The game itself is absolutely beautiful. It's got some of the best graphics I've seen for a competitive game and many competitive games are very beautiful in their own way. They typically have very simple graphics and because of that it means that they can run on a huge variety of systems and it just looks absolutely fantastic. The environments are absolutely gorgeous. It looks exactly like a Pixar film and I'm sure some of the animated shorts and stuff kind of back that up as well. And something which I really love about it is of course the characters. All of the characters that you can choose to play as are absolutely phenomenal. I love playing as Reinhardt, you really can't beat the awesome feeling when you finally pin someone or when you play as Roadhog and when you get out your awesome chain and you pull someone towards you, that is such a satisfying feeling. But to tell you the truth, some of my favourite things to do in Overwatch are to basically go full mercy and just heal everyone. There is something absolutely brilliant about that feeling when you know that your team was probably going to lose this round without the healing that you were giving people. And it's actually really surprising just how fun it is to just purely play the support role and stuff. Many competitive shooters typically don't have people really jump in to play the support role because they want to be the run and gun, they want to be the hero, they want to get all the kills and the awesome frag hunting and stuff. But for some reason, Overwatch has got a perfect balance between supporting people and actually playing to get all the kills and capture all the points and stuff like that and I love it for that reason as well. And also a great thing about it is that the actual competitiveness is extremely well balanced. There are some things which aren't perfect, like Mei for example, I absolutely despise because she can just pretty much wreck any person you're playing against but you know what, it's all balanced in the end because there are ways to beat her fairly easily especially if you're a tank class or something like that. And this is just a very short video to basically ask you guys, would you like to see me playing some more Overwatch? Because as I said, I bought this just kind of on a whim when I saw it was discounted, and I absolutely love it. And you know me, I'm always looking for new things to keep the channel in a huge variety of people's eyes, so to speak, if that made any sense, not really. I like variety on the channel, what can I say? And I really hope you guys enjoy watching Overwatch because I would love to bring some competitive Overwatch games for you guys today. I'm not at level 25 yet so I can't actually enter the actual competitive ranks yet. But when I do, I think it'll be very, very different to what I'm doing right now. Because if I can get into the competitive ranks, then I think people will be playing with their headsets and everyone will actually be playing to win, so to speak. Because there's one thing which really annoys me about competitive games and that's when people just don't make the final push. It was the same for Counter-Strike and stuff like that as well. When you are just a few feet away from the objective, people are like trying to snipe you using Widowmaker or something, but it's like, if you just moved a few feet to the left, then we would actually be taking the point, but no. But hey, whatever, whatever. It's all good fun. So yeah, just a very quick video just to ask, would you guys like to see some Overwatch on the channel? Because I enjoy watching it so much, and I enjoy playing it now that I've actually got it. So guys, very short video I know, thank you very much for watching, I will be working on the next episode of probably The Sims next, just to tell you the truth, because I haven't done The Sims in a while, and I'll be keeping my eye out for any Subnautica videos and stuff like that, so thank you very much for watching guys, this has been the final render as always, remember to check out all the cool Patreon people in the description who help support the channel with their financial donations, you can of course do the same yourself, this has been the final render, and you have been the audience, bye bye for now. This is a video talking about the new VSS sniper rifle and this thing is pretty darn impressive. The VSS sniper rifle is a permanently suppressed sniper